Hey guys, what's up? Brent Kalman from Blue Water VST. Now we're always talking about reactor in these videos, talking about synthesizers and group boxes, sample transformers, and so forth. But sometimes we neglect to mention all of the top level effects that reactor has as part of its library. Now if you own reactor, you already have these in your production arsenal, so it's really crazy not to use them, or at least to know about them. So in this video, we're going to remedy that. I have created a machine project and we have a couple different elements here. We just have a drum kit that's playing kind of this lazy dub groove, and then we have laser bass, which is playing the bass lines. It sounds like this. So you get the idea there. Now what's great about Machine, of course, is that it allows you to manipulate sound at the level of the master, the group, and the individual sound so easily just by switching between these tabs. And just to refresh, the groups are these different collections of sounds. So the easiest uh, way to think about a group is kind of like a kit, right? It's a, in the case of beats, it's a drum kit, but it can also be a collection of instruments. In this case, we have laser bass uh, playing the bass line. And we could also have additional sounds in here if we wanted to get really fancy, but we're just going to leave that alone for now. But my point in bringing this up is that it's really easy to apply reactor effects either at the level of the group or the sound or even at the master if that's what you want to do. So we're going to take a look at three different effects in this video and the, the uses of each one of those just to get you some ideas of how you might use these in your own production. So let's start in. Now one of the brilliant parts of Machine is how easy it makes targeting various parts of your sound. So whether that's the master output, a group, or an individual sound, you can move between all of these using this very slick tab system. Now what we're going to do in this section is apply a dub delay to a snare drum and only the snare drum in this sound. So just to refresh, here's our sound. And we have this snare drum. Now to solo this, I'm going to right click on the cell. And now it's just the snare drum playing against the bass. If we go to the level of the sound, what we find is that the snare drum itself has this beat delay on it, which is producing a snapback effect. But it's very easy to change this. Now to navigate to your reactor effects inside machine, what you need to do is go over to this effects tab and navigate to reactor. And that will bring up basically a browser that gives you the different types of, of effects that are available to you inside reactor. Now all of these snapshots that appear below are from the various effects. So uh, one of them might be Echomania, another one might be Long Flow or uh, Cyan or one of the other effects. But if I have my tab selected that I'd like to apply the effect to, and this is now just the snare drum, I can double click on this 1096th echo, and you see that reactor pops up uh, instantaneously, and when I open the interface, you see that uh, echo mania is now in there. Now let's get this going and get a sense for what it's, what it's done to the, to the snare drum. So that's very dubby indeed. Now if we get the uh, whole kit back in action. <laughs> now another cool thing about this is that a lot of these parameters are available to us in the machine interface. So if I crank this, I can alter the delay time. You see this knob over here is moving as I move with the delay time. What's even better is that I can automate it. So if I click on this outer ring with control, on some automation there and that will carry over so if I close the interface now you see that automation and it's just drawn in there perfectly so this is this is a, a really fun way of using uh, a reactor effect just by targeting an individual sound and uh, kind of tweaking the parameters and finding out what you want to do with it it gives you a lot of possibilities for adding textures in the next section, what we're going to do is add a, an effect at the level of a group, and that will be a more all-pervasive effect and give us a really radical sound. So that's next. Okay, now it's time to go a little farther out there. What we're going to do here is apply an effect over an entire group. Recall that what we've done so far is, is we've applied a delay to an individual snare sound. And now we're going to, to apply an effect over this entire drum, drum group, which sounds like this. So to do that, we will move from the sound tab to the group tab. And now that I have my alkaloid kit group selected, anything that I, that I put in any of these tabs here will apply over the entire group. So what I'm going to do is load reactor by clicking on this downward facing triangle. 
I'm going to go plugins and reactor 5 FX VST. And that will load an empty instance of reactor. So there's nothing mapped here because reactor itself is empty. If I open the interface, you see there's nothing in there. Now what I'm going to do is load a very uh, out there ensemble called Lurker. And this can be found in factory ensembles, new additions, effects, and lurker.ens. If I load that, I see that it's a fairly complex ensemble. Essentially, it's an ensemble that takes any input and creates a, an interesting rhythmic sequence out of it. It uses uh, two delay units along with a four-part uh, kind of aut automation modulation system to draw in parameter changes, and it produces some very interesting textures. So let's give this a listen and hear what we have. Now, this is going to be completely unrecognizable, but here's what it is. So this is what our drum groove has become. And to A-B these, which is kind of interesting, you can click on this one to turn off the effect. Click on it to turn it back on. So there we have it. It's kind of pulling that sound apart. Now, one thing about Lurker is that it uses uh, a sample in addition to the, the external uh, audio that you're sending into it. And these can be adjusted by you. Now, I'm going to select a different snapshot that I think is slightly more uh, appropriate for our, our work. It's this one called Metalwork number 21. And then I'm going to go to this INT and turn this all the way down because I don't want this sample being part of our sound. I just want to accept the external audio, which in this case is drum group A. And then I'm going to turn down external just so if it comes through loudly, we're not peeking out. But here's how it sounds. It's a really interesting transformation of the sound. Some interesting rhythmic textures, and you can adjust things like cut off. Adjust, uh, the, you know, all of these lanes have different modulation destinations that you can adjust down here. The depth of the modulation really makes a difference in the sound. So it goes from this to this, and it's very interesting stuff. And if you get some of the more uh, melodic ones in the in the mix, you'll hear that it will combine a sample with with your content. Now it's always unexpected. Whatever you get out of Lurker is always something unexpected. But this just shows you. You can get very creative with applying effects at the level of a sound, but also at the level of a group. Now, this is pretty radical stuff, so you might want to apply something that's more basic, like a compressor or a reverb over the entire group to give it just a, uh, just a kiss of reverb. Uh, this is just tremendous fun to use, though, because you can get in there and really mangle and alter your sound and come up with some interesting ideas. Now, finally, in the next section, we're going to apply something over the master, and this will be a little more practical. Uh, but, but Reactor is just full of all sorts of interesting tools, so that's next. Okay, now let's finish up strong by applying an effect over the master channel. Recall that what we've done so far is we've applied a dub delay over a snare drum at the level of the sound. We've applied lurker over the entire kit at the level of the group. And now we're going to apply a finalization, mastering slash finalization plugin called uh, Flat Blaster over the master. I'm going to do exactly what I've done, uh, what I did last time at the group level. At the master level, I'm going to take this first tab, click on this downward facing arrow, go uh, plugins reactor 5 FX VST I'm going to bring up the interface by clicking on edit and in the same folder that hosts lurker we see flat blaster 2.0.2 double click on this to load it this is a very slick multi-band compression and peak limiting ensemble it's great to use on individual parts of uh, of your project and on the master so we are going to dial in a snapshot called loudness uh, just to just to eliminate any mystery of what this is going to do and then I'm going to A-B this. So I'm going to click this off. We'll, we'll listen to our groove, and then we'll click it, click it back on and hear what Flat Blaster is doing to the sound. Now here it is with Flat Blaster. What's, what's cool about this ensemble is it allows you to compress based on the frequency band. And you can uh, bypass individual bands. You can mute them out. You can solo them if you want to hear exactly what's happening. Uh, and also, the snapshots are really great starting points 
So right now we have this loudness selected, uh, but there are different snapshots for different things. Uh, low plus, of course, is going to give you some more bottom end. You hear that bass coming through uh, in a stronger way. So it's just a great ensemble to use and to kind of start from a particular point and tweak. And this is, of course, over the master channel. You could also put this over the group. You could you could compress uh, the the bass specifically. Uh, you could even compress and limit certain sounds if you wanted to. So it's enormously versatile. But this is this is the kind of final example of what you would do over the master. So this just shows you three ways of using reactors effects at various levels in machine. And these things really go together like hand and glove, as I've said before. But get in there and explore and find out uh, what ensembles work for your sound. It's just enormous fun to use with machine because it's so versatile. Hope you've enjoyed this. Talk to you again soon.